Pierce, still me. Yeah, Chuck? What's this pallet doing here in the middle of the aisle? Oh, that? That's the overstock of the pumpkin scented douches. They're a seasonal item that never really found its place in a niche market. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of little pumpkin loving clean freaks out there. Ooh, you know, you know. <laughs> love that pumpkin scent? Yeah! <laughs> no, just get me going. Go, going, go, going. Go. Yeah. I'm telling you, that pumpkin scent is badass for the coochies. Coochie! <laughs> Coochie! Yeah, okay, well, we gotta get this up out of the way, okay? <laughs> there's no on the rack to put that. Well, I don't care how you do it, all right? We gotta move these douches. And I'm gonna go back to my office, I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna read some pictures. No mahos, if you know what I mean. new surprise member of the team today. Not much of a surprise, sir, now that you've announced it. Hello. Hi, I'm... Ah! Hey, is this one of your girls from your MySpace page? Oh, no, no. Learn the MySpace lesson. A little dinner, a little dancing. And they turn out to be middle-aged male sexual predators. Is there any other kind? Funny. He should have been here by now. Just look down. Stupid kids. <laughs> Team, we are waiting on a very special person. Sparky Van de Graaff. He is one of the top computer hackers and surveillance experts in the world. And when he joins us, that's it! Right ahead! Oh, there you are. Come in. Everyone, this is Sparky Van de Graaff, who will be joining our team. You're a woman! All over. You know, a tampon really would help you when Artie Flo comes to visit. Sparky Vandergraaf of the Flying Vandergraafs of Holland. Yes? I don't think safety in circus people should mix, ever. That bloody arm, kid. 
Wanna come back out in the little tent for some smoke? that flashback? You saw it, didn't you? Otherwise, I'd look nuts. Okay, so she's on the team now. <laughs> well, at least you're not attractive. I left my musky cheese and beloved dykes for this. You beloved dykes? Are they hot? I'll double your pay to peak. Oh, please stay. No, I'm wildly heterosexual. I've come here for serious work. You pound my knees to hamburger meat, I stay. You scream in my face, I stay. You insult circus people everywhere. Why should I stay? Okay, let her go. Next item. Which? Wanna be? Barbie. Hmm. Hmm. Your mother didn't love you. <laughs> and your father. Did you like the boy he wished he'd had? <laughs> oh, you self-mutilated in places no one saw and hoped that someone would care. But they don't. They never will. Because you're stuck in that ridiculous chair. A hundred says you can probe deeper. Pardon me. I must point out our uh, turnover rate of 242.4 people in the last month is excessive, and your profiling, while clearly accurate, is counterproductive. For both of you. Not necessarily me. Why should I stay? Damn you. You'll know I was accidentally conceived as my parents touched each other's cheese-soaked bodies while testing of the first van der Graaf generator. Massive amounts of electricity coursed through their cheese-soaked bodies during their shocking production Rock an ik ben Nederlands. Touch me, I'm Dutch. I just want to make sure other peoples don't get hurt. That was clunky. Pungent boring gas. Damn you. I'm in. I'm in. Hot zai met my. But it's my knees that are bleeding. Good lord, you're right. I just want it on record that her bloody knees had nothing to do with her getting the job. Not like the last girl. Just kidding. Although, if you'd like to try the old yogurt thrower, I've got more cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, what fun. Now let's get down to business. Englishman and an Irish. No, no. Who has the bigger testicles? Sir. Not now, Hopkins. Uh, the Irishman. Sir. Not now, Hopkins. I'm telling that joke again. So, it was a Welshman with a proclivity of nutsack. It's the safety alert, sir. Good Lord. An emergency. Why didn't you stop me? What? And spoil all the fun. Get here. It's in your hand, sir. No. Oh. Um, could you pick that up, please? No. Good Lord, I've erased it. Anyway, it was an Irishman who had a huge... <laughs> Sir, well, according on... to your recently deleted PDA, police and ambulance are en route to an accident at the giant provision store in the northeast section of the city. We got something. Okay, what are we looking at? It's a map. Oh, you're helpful. Based on the emergency call intercept, it's a serious injury. 
It could be fatal. Or it could be fatal, but not serious. Or seriously fatal. I'd roll either way. I'm in. I was going to organize our files. Or have that thing checked on my taint. The area between my anus and my scrotum. Oversharing. Right. There's no time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. What do we need? We'll need to blend in. Mm. Put the workers at ease. We yes. need hairnets, slimming grocery clerk costumes, and a Learjet. Done and done. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I got it. No. Nice, bud. Yes, they are nice. Was that some sort of veiled reference to my heaving bosom? No. I was referring to the cotton Dacron blend of the clerk's utilitarian garb. It retains a slimming quality even when worn over work clothes. How about this? I like it in back, too. Me, too. Team, let's blend. We're in. I know. I'm in as well. We, uh, we are in. All of us. <clears throat> All right. Nothing to see here, folks. Carry about your shopping. We're just too, uh, Temporary workers will be working back in that area, cleaning up some of the blood <clears throat> in the, uh, the back area of the, the Professional occupational safety hazard team, don't right. fear. Ignore us, C continue your business. Just yes, getting everything off. I'm ready to. What? Don't need. Keep right. Right, right, right. Nothing to see. <laughs> This is more like it. This is how real investigations should look. Hmm. Is that torch a comment on our manhoods? The only thing well cocked around here is my eyebrow. Hmm. Okay. 
You exude middle management ineptitude. Admit it. You're in charge here. I am in charge here. I'm Supervisor Chuck Batwanger. But the owner, he just arrived. You'll want to talk to him. He's the boss. And how would you know that? He makes a lot of money, and I don't. I'm going to need to know where the breaker box is, sir. You know where the breaker box is. You just turned it off. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Hey, asswipes! How about some light? I'm buying some feminine hygiene products here for my, for my mother. Scotty? Mom? I haven't needed that since my muffin got dusty years ago. So, you mean whenever we want, we can get... Randy? Are you there? I found the supervisor. He was hiding in the dark. I'm not hiding. I mean, you guys turned out all the lights. Coward! I'm not afraid. Drat, I've dropped my torch. All this dark has touched off my restless leg syndrome. What's restless leg syndrome? A condition. Guys, I found the supervisor over here. We need to talk to him. That thing, that warm, vibrating thing you feel on your face, that's me. It's not that I'm nervous, Budwin. I have restless leg syndrome. I, I don't feel anything on my face. I'm not with you. It happens in the dark. What? Look, I'm gonna need the lights turned on, okay? It's dangerous, all right? We need it done right now. If you don't do it, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, we've got you there. They're on their way. I'm over here. Your leg is somewhere else. So, what I'm rubbing my vibrating leg on now is... There he is, the owner, Mr. Giant Provision. What? It was just relaxing, like one of those holes I put my thing in. Sir. I came as quickly as I could. Sir, it's terrible. I know, I just like produce. Sir, I have to ask you a few questions. Are you the owner of this store? Are you the produce inspector? No. Then I am Mr. Giant Provisions. I'm going to need verification of that name. That's your name, all right. Want to see Mr. Kumquat? We, mister, want to make this place safe. Posh. Professional, occupational safety and hazard. Wow, you look hot. Thank you, medicine ball. You know what, I mean, actually we've got a guy in the back right now who's hurt, I mean like hurt really bad. Like maybe you guys could like help him out. I mean, we already got like costumes and hot poses and shit. Okay team. Let's save a life. 
And look good doing it. Yeah. Unlike you. I grow moist at your abusive ad libs. Why does she moisten me so? Who are you? We are the professional occupational safety hazard team. Yes, 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 I know that. Good Lord, are you psychic? What am I going to say next? You're probably going to introduce yourself again. I am Reginald St. John Smythe at your... Su Good Lord, you are amazing. No, 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 let me help you. Oh! Puts the lotion in the basket, and lowers the basket in the hall. I'm back. What? Oh, oh, please, allow me to help you. I am trained in the subtle Eastern arts of safety. Oh! Oh! My distinguished crotch! And this is why we must never run with scissors. Why, Master? Please, tell me why. Is it me? What? Is it? Because I'm not going to do it again! So what seems to be your problem? That. Oh my god. So what's your problem? You're seeing that, right? It's all a bit fuzzy and vague for me. Could you um, talk us through what happened? Uh, all right, well, uh, this worker, Pierce Johnson, was operating a forklift this morning, and he tipped it over, and it impaled him. Not Pierce Johnson, of the Whaling Johnsons of Washington, D.C. You saw that, right? That was really weird, right? Yeah, it is weird. We never have accidents. I'd say he tried to raise that thing up too high and it fell over, taking him with it. His fault, we have regulations. Sir, I have a double major in criminal psychology and forensic science that I got the hard way. Now I need the truth, mister, or I start taking it all off right here. Yes, I've seen her crack the most difficult cases. She once stripped a seven-year-old of his crass society-imposed veneer on television. Okay. There's a forklift operator there who's been injured. I can see he... Oh, come on. Don't waste my time, sir. I can tell when a man is up to something just by wriggling in his lap. Now out with it. I'm telling you, that man has been injured. Look, I can read body language, tone of voice, the subtle but complex interplay of your facial muscles. Now there is something that you are not telling me and you'd better fess up right now or I start stripping. Put you on report and shut this store down. Okay. Come on, say it, say it! All right, all right! Come on, out with it! I wet my bed! And there's a forklift operator hanging there in what looks to be a liability nightmare. Okay, now we're getting to the bottom of things. Oh, I understand you had an accident. I just admitted it! It happens every night! Hey, what about Pierce, who had the accident today? You hanging in there, buddy? Mm, uh, thank you for noticing. Help! <laughs> Can we put some paper towels down or something? You want a muffin or something? Can we get him a muffin? He's really starting to smell. <laughs> okay. You said corn. There's that Kung Pao chicken. It's got peanuts in it. I'll talk to him. Reg, can you help? I'll need to see the warehouse area. 
Uh, this is the warehouse area. Then I'll need to see it. Uncooperative, $50. What? Another 50. What? Bring it. This is the warehouse. Bring it. This is. Bring it, fat boy. Take me off, 100. You can keep going. Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Minky. Uh, thank, 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 thank God, Doc. Thank God you're here. Doc, you, you, you gotta help me. I'm so cold, so cold. I'm a doctor of psychology, actually. You're not even a real doctor? What, are you saying that because I'm a woman? No, I, I'm saying that because I got 15 pounds of adenine steel in my gut. Oh, and how do you feel about that, Pierce? How do I feel? I feel pain! I feel pain! <laughs> oh my god, this is just so frustrating. If only you were insane, I could help you. What? But perhaps there's something I could do for you. Thank God. Randy? Are you hitting on me now? Oh God, no. No, no. Bad form, no. A bit. Okay, look. I'm not going out with you. I've got to talk to this guy before he dies. Hey, 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 hey. Horribly. Oh. Nothing I can do for him. There is with me. Look, look, no, no crazy woman, no, for real. Look, uh, telling me I'm gonna die? Look, get me down from here. So you're saying no? Yes. yes. You're rejecting me? Got it in one. Excuse me, uh, is it always this slow? I've never been rejected before. How embarrassing for you. Get me down before I die! I am disturbingly rich. No! I suggest we not move him or he'll die. Go ahead, move him. You'll see. No! I shall redirect your chi until that time. My what? No man is touching my chi. Oh, please. Not without buying a drink anyway. No, we just met. It is your subtle energy body. Quiet, please! While I cloud my mind. Chicky, chicky, chicky. I, I feel fine. I feel chicky. fine. always have this extraordinary quality. No, we just have to wait for his testicles to drop. And when they do, put them in this baggie. As their evidence. Liz, just take them. Take my balls. Just... Man, just don't leave me hanging in like a piñata, man. This is my ball sack. I'm scared. Are you making right now? Wow. Ooh. My mama's gonna kill me if I don't talk to her before I die. Well, I can call her for you. What's her number? Oh, God. Them. Okay, people. We need to get everyone back. Clear room for a stretcher. Someone's going down. Is it Randy? I sure would like to see that. Dream on. Figure of speech, like going down. Going down? Love it. Dream on! 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 Dream on. Dream on. 
No, don't! Yeah, we're gonna need two stretchers. All right, posh safety team. I think you've been a really big help here. You've uh, landed your jet on all the cars. You electrocuted one of my guys. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Officer Herbert. My name is Herbert. It's Herbert. Do you know anybody named Herbert? Aside from you? No. <laughs> Look, idiot. We gotta get that man down and to a hospital and turn that electrical tape off. I wouldn't even know how. We need this whole area cordoned off. That poor bastard up there is the key to what went wrong here. Mm, I'm thinking you're the key to what's going wrong here. It was a simple industrial accident until you showed up. No industrial accident is simple. No one knows or touches anything. Oh, Christ. Yeah, you probably would have gone up there, pulled him off the cross, ruined everything. Huh? I don't even know how to deal with you people. You're such weird pests. I've prepared a pamphlet. Uh, perhaps this will help. This is a crime scene. This was a safety violation before it was a murder. Murder? That's right, son. If you have to forfeit your sad, ballless life so others can be safe, then so be it. Thank you. I feel so much better now. Help! All right, we're getting this guy down now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Listen, you safety patrol geek, you're this close from getting arrested. Now step down. As you wish. But. The steel has staunched the blood. Remove him without cauterizing the wound and you are effectively murdering him. You got that right! I ain't catching a damn thing that man is saying. He says the sergeant wants to murder you. See? You see how you do a brother, man? See, that's always keep the black man down. I said no such thing. All right, we'll leave him until the EMTs arrive. But get that safety tape out of here and get the hell off of my crime scene. Sergeant Herbert, technically it's not a crime scene because no one's died. Yet. Do you not realize I can hear what you're saying? Mama, you made it. Pierce Beauregard Johnson. Uh-oh. What is wrong with you, boy? If you go impaling yourself on the job one more time, I'll slap you in the kingdom come and beat you to within an inch of your life. I'm already there, Mama. Don't you sass me, boy. Ah, Karina Rucker ages on your damn ass. I'm sorry, Mama. Don't you. I'm sorry, Mama. Me? I put up with your daddy, Gimpy, all those years, walking around in circles with his damn short ass legs. I'd have to say goodbye to him three times before he left the room. And I am through. Do you hear me? Through being nice to you. Now there's only one thing I can do, and that's turn you over to the Lord. Now I am going to church to pray for your dumb ass to find a better body to attach itself to. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mercy, you look like Jesus up there. Thank you, Mama. And that is blasphemy! And you will not take me there! 
I got a mind to take this brick out of my purse and hit you with it. Ah, reminds me of boarding school. Good times. Pumpkin, he liked pumpkin uh, a lot. Uh, pumpkin was badass. It was uh, for the coochies. Um, now, how does this story help? I don't know. You're the one that said you wanted to know everything we talked about. I've known the guy for 12 years. That's everything. No, we meant about the forklift accident. Today. Which is strangely the one thing you omitted from your story. Now, did he drink? Did he seem competent? He was only competent when he drank. I mean, he's an idiot. He's my friend for 12 years. He's an idiot. Now, you gave the order. Do you know the uh, official requirements for stacking height and forklift operating procedures? I should. Uh, they're posted. Uh, have been for a while, so... You seem guilty. Now, well, you sound like my ex-wife when she catches me in those torn panties. You know what? Forget it. I'm not gonna tell you guys about my panties. You're not my friends. No, we're not. Weird. Just weird. Previously, not on safety gates, SVI. My God, you're fat. It's a good thing this wasn't a grease fire. You'd burn for three days. Now, please, tell me, madam, what happened here? <laughs> Sliding door hazard, $1,500. What? No push-pull signs on it. The fines are all punitive and go to helping special needs children learn how to cross the road without being hit too badly. Yeah, you should see the face of the one kid that did graduate. That's, that's nice. Took three hours of surgery just to make that little bastard look like he was smiling. Okay, you know, you can't push or pull a sliding door. We're here to see that you don't. Come on. What if a paralyzed person comes in through here? I mean, how's he going to operate that contraption? Well, we don't get a lot of paralyzed people in the warehouse or meatpacking area. Meatpacking area? Sure would like to see some meatpacking. Pierce, we're not going to be able to solve the mystery of what happened here before emergency services arrives to help you. Uh... Plan B. I'm calling Posh Control. Uh, uh... Okay, I have got to stop the ambulance. Hmm. What was plan A? Uh, plan A might actually be a better option for me. Oh, come on, Sparky, figure it out. It's ringing. Thank you, Hopkins. Yes, Dr. Minky, can I help you? Sparky, I need you to shut down the traffic grid and prevent emergency services from getting here. That's plan B! That's plan B! Okay, you want me to prevent medical help from getting to the victim? So we can solve the safety problem. Yes, Miss Vandergraaff. If that's even your real name, yes. But it's pretty basic. Is he? So do it. Stuck in the wall. Now. Blood. Like now. Stop ambulances. Good. Fine. And might I add, it's so good to see you out there doing a bang-up job, Randy. Are, are you sure about that? Cause no, for I got some complaints. Hopkins, I'm new, I know. But is she always like this? Dr. Minke is a complicated woman. A brilliant mind who paid for her criminology degree working as a stripper. Absolutely brilliant. You're 41 years old, you live at home with your mother, you have performance anxiety, and you need clowns to get off. What? What about the happy finish? Inevitably, her act would lead the motley patrons to shuffle out of the club, leaving her with only the knowledge she was right, never understanding why she did not receive the same tips as the other girls. She became increasingly bitter. Randy began to self-medicate by squandering her savings on abnormal psychology textbooks, 
which she will read angrily aloud during her rape scene from the accused fan dance routine. She's a vacadoo. I haven't hung up yet. Well, yeah. You are one. Goodbye. A wackadoo. You'd know. I assure you, Randy, no emergency services will be there to help until the team is finished. Thank you. No problem, Hopkins. Be hot, cheese eater. Cheese eater. Excuse me, might I have a word? Chuck. Yeah, scram. How's that for a word? That's a good word. It rhymes with not guilty. I believe you know what went wrong here, and you're protecting your job. You know what? I'm through talking with you. And yet you still are. Ah. Do you realize, in the hands of a trained martial artist, this is a lethal weapon? So is anything. But in my hands, it is merely dangerous. You're the key to what went wrong here. I'll be watching you, Chuck. I thought you might find this interesting. You could be wrong, you know. See the seat? Good Lord, Nagahide. We haven't seen that since the 70s, when the doomed herds of Naga beasts were almost hunted to extinction. Perhaps a great Naga beast knocked this over. No, Reg, look, an impression of an ass. We have no time for your impressions, Budwin. Take out your butt spray. Do we have time for that? Oh, right. Definitely a second driver. I'd say this was three hours old. Based on the depth of indentation, I'd say it was heavy. 353 pounds and hairy. Very hairy. Was it the owner? I knew it. Let's, let's arrest him. Let's hit him with something. Now, this imprint is 31 inches across. Oh, well, that's oh, this big at least. Hmm. That should be easy to... Oh, I see that. Perhaps it was a woman. Based on the test, it can't be a woman. Why? Because the proportional camel toe would be at least six inches across. All right, boys, what have we got? A very disturbing visual of pendulous beef curtains. Cloud your mind. I've got a sweaty butt print, Randy. Try talc. Ooh, I have. Prickly heat. Turned out to be a highly contagious pathogen. The <coughs> point is, we're one cheek away from solving this mystery. We need an ass lineup. Shall I call my exes? I still have their numbers. In case of the random drunk dial. So nobody's talking. Except me. Obviously. Now you probably have some secret uh, warehouse heavy machinery operator's code. Prevents you from giving up the second driver. Well, it's precisely that sort of blind loyalty that gets a man pinned on the wall up there. Solidarity, brothers! Look, if you just let me dance, I can tell you which one's lying. Oh, maybe later, over drinks. Poof, I'm gay. I'm here to tell you that the science of safety will point its cold and impersonal finger. The second driver. All right, we could save a lot of time if someone wanted to step forward now. Right now. Close my eyes. 
Uh -huh. No one? All right. Fine. All right. All right, turn around. We're going to do this the hard way. I'm usually off the clock when a man tells me that. Me too. 31.2. Twenty-eight point seven. Thirty-eight point six. Thirty-six point nine. Good lord. Lemon curry? Oh. Oh! Ow. Sorry. It's the cheese. Reg! He's darting like a startled, corpulent wildebeest! I'll get him! Stop and I'll shoot! But you don't have a gun! He called my blow! I'm on it! You just want me to go up there and grab his key? No! Stand back, you silly man! It's far too dangerous! No, it isn't. Yes, it is! I've got his 31-inch tail in my sights for God, for England, and St. George! Oh! Oh! Told you! Oh! Sir, I wouldn't hop in this area. It's a safety... Oh, shut up! So, Stilton, you were trying to cover your ass, weren't you? Hey, look, I'm a union guy. If they say packed pumpkin scented douches too high, I do it. No questions asked. Well, I have a question for you. What do you think about all the destruction caused here? Well, personally, I think it's a travesty. I see. Yeah, except you guys did it all. Well, maybe the fines you're gonna pay will fix it all. <laughs> hey, if you think I'm paying any fines for your mess, you're friggin' nuts. Take him away! Um, who's, uh, who's gonna take me away? You know, just, just so I can help? Presumably, they have people for that. There's people that do that. People. Take him away, boys. Whoa, kind of like that. <laughs> I look at them and all manner of violations spring to mind. Yes, this is another one for the files. Where are you going? I'm going to go over there. Why? I want to do something illegal. 
Uh, I think he's married. Oh! Flash control. Is Hopkins there? Flash control, can I help you? Hopkins, now, on the blower, on the thing. He isn't here, I'm sure I can help you, doctor. Yeah, so I guess we've wrapped things up here. You can go ahead and clear the traffic grid and let emergency services through. I am clearing the grid now. I, for one, can't imagine the team without you. Well done, Sparky. Thank you, sir. Oh, don't call me sir. Just call me. And yeah, not bad for circus people who are crippled. Well, it makes calling HQ a lot more attractive. Yeah. You're not hard on the eyes. Guys, she's not hot. I mean, well, this is hot. <laughs> Be your wingman. More like bombardier. Who wants some? The phone works both ways, you know. I think we should all go back to HQ, and I think this calls for a bottle of champers, eh? Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Yes, thank you, Budwin. See you later. Beefy McMahon stick! I'm hanging up now. Uh, so am I. Can somebody help me? Help! Need any help? They're taking him off the wall. Yes. I know you've been through a lot, but there's something we need to say. No, no hard feelings, guys, because I can't feel below my neck. Oh, the numbness is from redirecting your chi. I mean, look, I, I drive a forklift, so one of those Steve Hawkins chairs is going to feel like home to me. <laughs> You're not paralyzed. Trust me, you'll feel everything at the hospital. Well, that's good to know. You've just been sighted, mister. Ooh, I bet you that would have hurt. Yeah. Not as much as having to slap a heavy fine on the open wound of a victim of a work-related incident. Four hundred dollars? Why would I pay that? Because maybe the fines you pay might help to teach a tard to cross the street more safely. Take him away, boys. Reg, darling, you were supposed to call. Well, I've uh, been busy. You left your speculum at my place. Did I? And it's starting to chafe. Call me. Well, now we all know the nasty truth. You mean you saw me with that melon? No, who's at fault? Well, that. Good. I'll mention it to the mayor when we go off on Friday. Yes, the mayor's always under par. It's his putter, you know. No, don't! Hello, I'm Reginald St. John Smythe, and I'd like to talk a bit about safety. That's why Posh is here. We're making the world safe, one accident at a time. Right. In my travels as a billionaire, I've noticed that accidents are almost everywhere I go. Okay, guys, that was so uncool. I was gonna say something. About what? Safety. 
Oh, what a good idea. I agree. If we all try to... I think we should have Randy say something. Yeah, let's let Randy talk. Right. Remember, if you're going to be dancing, always spray down your pole. Now, not something oily, but antibacterial. Why, thank you, Randy. I'll remember to keep my pole clean. Thankfully, I'll never know. And to wrap up, remember, never lift a fully loaded forklift with another forklift and then lie about it. Bad idea. And chance takers always get it in the end. Remember, safety is no accident. Motherfuckers. Chuck.